Well, hey kids, how's everybody out there in YouTube land this morning? I'm going to make breakfast. I thought I'd just record it for a change. So, bear with me a minute. There's always something going on on Grandpa's farm. A place where you're always welcome. Come on, Lily. Let's go feed. No breakfast can start without a potato. Gotta have the taters. So here's what we do every day. This is my my morning routine, kids. We got the coffee percolating, and we scrub up a couple taters, a couple spuds, spuds. All right. <clears throat> Next thing we do is we turn them into hash browns. So here's the way I do it. I have my big old measuring cup. I have my strainer. <clears throat> and I have my little grating board. Just a little old grating board. Set that there, tater on the board, and proceed. I find if I do the potato long ways, I get a better grate. Now I take little excess pieces, put them in there, take my thumbs, slide that back and forth, and that tater is done. And, and we grate. As Sam the cooking guy would say, and we grate. Check out his channel. He's got a great he's got a great channel. My my old buddy who recently passed away from California put me on to Sam the Cooking Guy. He said Carly's one of us. <laughs> so I guess he's crazy too, huh? Yeah, right, when it gets down like that they get kind of hard to handle. So I just put a little thumb pressure down. There we go. We got all that in there. And clean up some of what's in the sink. I just got done scrubbing the sink, so the sink is clean. First thing I do every morning. Empty and reload the dishwasher. Clean the sink. I don't like having stuff laying all around. Now, stuff gets stuck in there, so I give that a little scrubby scrubby. <clears throat> Hold it up to the light, make sure I can see through everything that's done. All right, now these, need to, we need to wash the starch off of them. <clears throat> so I fill that up with water. And I go in there and I just wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my fingers and I do a little finger wiggling. This is my morning potato wiggle. You guys do a little potato wiggle? I can do a little potato wiggle. My little potato wiggle. All right, you see how the water turned gray? That's all the starch coming off the hash browns. Well, not hash browns yet, but they're going to be. So, we do that. Give them a rinse. Okay. Take a little sprayer nozzle. Clean, clean towel. All right. Step two. There we go. I have my skillets, my daily skillets. I have my nonstick, and I got my cast iron that was my mother's. Oh, eight and eight. That's why I set up every morning. Put big old glob of butter. Yes, real butter. About that much, so about three packs, two, two to three packs, something like that in there. Put that back for later. Ooh, onion bagel. I'm a fan of onion bagels. 
Maybe you are, maybe you aren't, I don't know. But I'm a fan of onion bagels. Bake on. Now, <clears throat> last thing cooked in here was hash browns. You can see the hash brown residue. This skillet is clean. I'm going to get it nice and hot. Let's see, three, four pieces. So that's actually, oh wow, that one didn't cut. Wow. I cut my bacon in half, but apparently I didn't cut some of it. Huh, I wonder how I missed that. All right, so anyhow, there's the equivalent of three, well, I guess now four slices of bacon since those two didn't get cut. Four slices of bacon. And that gets ready to go in the fridge. Onion bagel. Ready to the toaster. Butter's melting. And my nonstick. Okay, now here's something what I like to do. I take the skins out. I don't put them in there. I throw them in there with the bacon. These skin pieces. So I can crisp them up separately. Because they're, they're too thick to cook with this stuff. And then that simply, bang, into the skillet. Take my finger, level it up. And you'd be amazed how much that'll cook down once you cook the moisture out of it. All right, hash browns back in the sink. That'll go in the dishwasher here in just a moment. Do a little cleanup. All right, duck eggs. And duck eggs from my own duckies. These are actually duck eggs from earlier. Well, let me put my put my stuff back in the fridge. Our fridge is packed, 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 packed. Oh, have that in there backwards. All the weights at that end. There we go. Alrighty then. Hey, right, I'm gonna get a clean spatula. I'll need that here in a minute. I got to empty and reload the dishwasher still. Although I may leave that for a bit. Let me get my tongies. <clears throat> There's some tongs. Let's lay out the, the bacon. Now, very soon, I'm going to have my own land. Not just have the urban lot here that Johanna's got. And I'll be raising my own pigs. And when I raise my own pigs, I'll make my own bacon. And nothing simpler and nothing better. You get away from all the nitrates that, and, and chemicals that they put in commercially made bacon these days. That stuff is not good for you. All right. Get our bacon nicely separated so it can cook individually. Try to get the potatoes laid down. There we go. All right. Cook. And while that's cooking, I'm going to go over here and Rinse out my coffee cup. <clears throat> now, one little funky nuance. Jana likes this coffee maker. Because it doesn't have a big craft. You put the you put the cup in, but you see my cup's too tall? So I have to pull the coffee maker out and turn it. And then get my coffee. My son and daughter-in-law gave me this beautiful cup. And uh, I like using it. It's an insulated cup. I like using it for my morning coffee. It holds about five and a half, six cups of coffee. <laughs> So it's a good, uh, it's a good amount. So, and now it may look like I'm putting a lot of sugar in, but remember, this is like five, six cups of coffee. So, 
not nearly as much sugar I mean that would have been a lot of sugar if that was a single cup but it's not and I like my little French vanilla French vanilla creamer uh, dusting all that on top there's my morning coffee routine grab a long a long spoon I don't see one. Huh, well, there we are. must be in the dishwasher. There we go. No, nope, that's a fork. Fork, 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 fork. Come on. There it is. Long spoon. See? Long spoon. Talk up. <clears throat> Give that a good stir. Coffee's ready. Alright. Everything here is cooking away. Get those hash browns going. Kick the toaster up. Turn some bacon. I don't understand why I have some bacon here that didn't get cut. It must have been folded over inside the package somehow. Because see, I always cut it into these half, half pieces. Although these are pretty long for even half pieces. And I don't know. That was a weird one. There we go. Now, I'm going to turn my skillet like that. Because our floor is not level in the house and all the oil will go that way. And start cooking them potatoes. Those potato skins. In fact, this bacon is so lean... It doesn't produce hardly any grease, so I'm going to take a little butter and put it there. Whoop. Put it there so we can cook those tater skins. Oh, I'm going to need that when I get to doing my eggs. So. All right, let me grab a plate. And I'll just grab one out of the dishwasher. Since we're working out of the dishwasher anyway, there we go. Clean plate. All right. This is doing good. Almost ready to flip. <clears throat> this skillet has got a slightly rounded bottom from its years and years and years of use and it uh, it wiggles here on the on the stove it wiggles it jiggles you lay down don't you argue with me, you son of a gun. There we got you. Alright. Toast popped. Time to flip. You ready to flip? How's that for some skills, huh guys? How's that for some skills? Alright, now with that we're going to put a little butter on there because that skillet was dry. And potatoes need butter to cook. They won't brown. The, the butter actually acts like a browning agent for them. All right, bigly. I can smell the onion in that bagel. And it smells good. Good. Goodin. It smells goodin. Alright, so my bacon is beginning to get done. Let's see, those two pieces are done. Drip, drip, drip. Over there, I'd say you're done. You're overdone, actually. 
Need a little bit more toast to that one. You're done. There we go. Notice how the potato all comes down and forms a nice little round, smooth side at the edges. You know, you don't have a lot of excess stuff flopping around. All right, so there's, there's that. Let me get these potato skins going better. Move them down there. <clears throat> and give this a minute to cook. All right. And yes, some more butter. <laughs> And I use a lot of butter to make my breakfast. Just the way it is. Just the way it is, peeps. Just the way it is. Probably why I'm so damn fat. It's all butter. Okay, break, break, break. Dump my duck eggs. Look how big and rich they are, huh? Oh, telefunkin'. one ring so Johanna's got a program on her phone that detects spam calls oh crap got a bunch of stuff in there look at that bunch of eggshell anyhow it detects spam calls and disconnects them automatically all right lost a little bit any more shell in that I don't think so don't like using anything sharp in my non-stick, but sometimes, oh, see, there's a piece of shell. Sometimes you just got to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Eggs flipped. Room up there. Take these over easy. Let's we'll turn these tater skins. See, now we get nice. Now we get nice crispy potato skin pieces in there, and then that's of course doing beautifully. Turn that around so that oil runs underneath those potatoes and cooks them. Yeah, this is ready for the plate. Perfect. Don't need that anymore. Okay. Oh. Bagels go up on the corner. All the bacon goes piled up there. That's a lot of bacon. That's a lot of bacon even for me for a morning. I usually don't make that much. That's about one or two slices of bacon too much. And And we flip. There we go. And we flip. All right. All right, time for a little sodium. Salt the potatoes. Normally I'd put some pepper on my eggs, but I got so much stuff on my plate I can't, can't get to them. I don't usually have bread and potato in the same breakfast. I either have an English muffin or I have a, a bagel English muffin toast. I either have that or I have hash browns. I don't usually do both. So my plate's a little crowded today. Do 
All right, then I fold that over so that it will only take up half my plate. And then that usually works just like that. Get my two tater skins. Set them out there. I store my cast iron in the oven. Shut the heat off. Utensils into the sink. Now normally, I would also have emptied and reloaded the dishwasher, so I would put everything straight into the dishwasher, which I am not doing this time. But there you go. There, there's breakfast, guys. There's breakfast. So let me grab a fork. Show you my usual routine. I'm going to show you the whole thing. Let me get a uh, cold, cold seltzer water. Put that in my pocket to make it easy to carry. Shut that light off. All right, how am I going to carry all of this? I got to carry this camera and my coffee cup and breakfast. Here we go. Hello, cheeky babes. Chicken nuggets, guys. Chicken nuggets. up my laptop see I got Fox playing on my on my TV I got Fox on there but I have the audio down oh here's doom and gloom man of course the Dow's back up at 24 that's awesome 33,000 deaths that's not so awesome and what do I got I have Lumna Acres my buddy Al over at Lumna Acres and his beautiful wife Gina and their daughter, and this is what I enjoy watching while having my breakfast. So, with that said, kids, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. So you guys be good, be careful, take good care of one another, and we'll have more for you next time. Bye, guys. Well, how about them toad suckers? Ain't they sappy? Sucking them toads all sure make them happy. Hug them, mug of toad suckers way down south. Sticking them sucky toads in they mouth. I be a toad sucker, don't a duck it. You just find an old toad and you rear back and suck it. Folks, you have a good day. Bye.